Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to part 6 of the VFR 800 engine rebuild series. Um, in this part what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be removing the uh, engine cylinder heads um, which you see here. Uh, what I'm going to do uh, first of all I'm going to break loose the uh, 10 millimeter bolts in the uh, right hand side of the engine next to the uh, timing gear. Uh, once they're removed then I'm going to uh, break loose these bolts here, the 12 millimeter bolts uh, which are directly above the uh, cylinders. Um, so let's go ahead. These should break loose quite easily. Okay, that's broken loose easily. Same with that one. I'm just going to spin these out. Okay, the bolt looks in excellent condition. It's pretty much as new, no corrosion or dirt or damage or anything. So I'm going to put that to one side and uh, remove the next one. Again, that bolt looks fine, don't see any issues with that. All good clean condition. Okay, so that's the two 10mm bolts removed. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the 12mm uh, bolts. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so that's broken loose. Okay, so then what I'm going to do the, the, uh, it's going to be that one, this one next, okay, here we go, okay, that's that broken loose, and then the one in the opposite corner, so I've gone that one, that one, that one, now we're going to do this one, okay, here we go. Okay, so that's that broken loose. So no go, no go down and do this one at the bottom. Okay, that's that broken loose. And then lastly, this one up at the top. Okay, so that's that one. And then what we'll do is we'll go around and do them all again. So we'll do about half a turn. Right, so that's going to be quarter of a turn. Right. Quarter of a turn seems to loosen it quite a bit, so same with that one. That one. kind of broken them all loose and loosened them each about a further quarter of a turn so I think what I'm going to try now is I'm going to try the usual thing just the extension bar on its own and we'll see if we can slack them off a bit right so they're slackening quite easily now Just like slacken each one a few turns. Right, there we go. Right, so there we have a cylinder head bolt. In fact, there's a washer as well. Let's see if I can get a hold of that. I don't think these bolts are reusable, but I'm going to keep them anyway, just to 
be on the safe side. So let's pop them on the floor just for the moment. Um, so we'll just go go across and do this one in this corner. threads of that one or something I don't know right so there we go looks okay condition anyway don't see any issues with it so that's all of the bolts out now okay so now that all the bolts are out what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just give this a light tap with a rubber mallet just to loosen it up chambers got the uh, combustion changes chambers so we've got the exhaust valves there the inlet valves are the bigger ones and the spark plugs in the middle um, obviously it's a bit oily it's a bit uh, carbonized but it's not too bad I think it should clean up quite easily um, so that's that I'm just gonna put that to one side The, uh, the tops of the pistons again they're quite carbonized but uh, they seem in reasonably good condition I think they should probably clean up okay uh, I'm not actually sure where the cylinder head gasket is the uh, head gasket seems to be kind of missing which is strange there's kind of gasket residue there but there isn't really a gasket strange Gasket stuck on the yeah, so the gasket stuck on the uh, on the cylinder head rather than on the block. So what I'm going to do now is we'll just turn the engine over a bit. There we go. Check that out. jacket looks fine don't really see any debris or anything in there all seems quite good uh, yeah so far so good right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn the engine around and we'll do the same thing on the other side right so now that's the front uh, cylinder head off now we're gonna do the rear cylinder head so I've got the 10 mil socket again with the extension bar on the ratchet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break these two 10 millimeter bolts loose so here we go. Okay, so that's the first one. And the second one. Okay, so again, let's take the latch off. Use the extension. 
suspension bar. And we'll just take these, take these two out. Okay, first bolt looks fine. fine don't see any issues there um, right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the 12mm socket which I've got here I'm going to fit it without the extension bar um, to get a bit more leverage and I'm going to fit it on the torque wrench which is about 18 inches long so it gives me a bit more leverage to get these heavy bolts and done I'm just going to put that socket on there and we'll just break these loose. Right, so again, I'm going to start in the corners. I'm going to start in the top uh, left hand corner. And we'll just uh, break this one loose. Okay, that's that one broken loose. And the one in the opposite corner. So that's all of them kind of finger tight now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just spin them out with the extension bar. I'm going to slacken each one a few turns just to be on the safe side. good condition. These will probably not be reused but I'm just going to keep them just in case. cylinder head free. Okay, so again let's have a look at the combustion chambers. Look okay. Exhaust valves, inlet, spark plugs, all looks pretty good. All looks pretty healthy. Um, this gasket will have to come off at some stage. I can leave that just for now. We'll just uh, have a look at the Combustion chambers, again a bit carbonised but seems okay. Uh, cylinder bores, kind of oily but that's probably just uh, 
oil that's got in since I've been working on it. I imagine I don't know, but um, doesn't seem too bad. So what we'll do is we'll just get the 14 mil socket again and just turn it over. Okay, so it's very easy to turn over now, obviously, because it's not working against any compression pressure, obviously, because all the cylinder heads are off. The bore seems good, it's very smooth. So all seems pretty healthy. Um, don't see any kind of debris in the water jacket or anywhere like that, all looks pretty good. So, so far so good. Right, well, uh, thanks very much for watching. And if you like the video, please like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, comment, um, and most importantly, share with as many people as possible. Thanks very much. See you later.